Hello and welcome to the demonstration for ensuring maximum production efficiency by analysing production process data. My name is Jonathan Bywater and I am the product manager for APM Reliability Management. This short video will benefit managers wishing to maximise the output of their production facilities. To illustrate this, we will create a production Weibull analysis from a production data set. We will establish the maximum possible output by analysing past production data. We will establish and categorise cost drivers for underproduction. And we will set production goals for optimum production efficiency. So switching to live product. Here we are in the PLA module. And in an earlier video, you will have seen me reconcile some losses against a production plan and establish that poor pump performance was contributing to some of our production losses from which we initiated a root cause analysis. From here, I'm going to take the production analyses tab in PLA and I'm going to initiate a new production analysis. So you see if I hit plus, up comes a, a builder. It tells me the builder will guide you through the steps of creating a production analysis, also known as a production Weibull. So this is going to be for unit 23, where we did our earlier demonstration. We're refining unit 23, and we're going to do this for diesel. If I hit next, the start time for this, we want to look at past production for a lengthy period. And the end time will bring this right up to date, September 30th at the time of this video. Uh, the analysis ID is right there. And if I hit finish, the production analysis has now been successfully created. So if I now go to the analysis that I've just created, we've established the typical performance that we're achieving from our production process, which is from the green demonstrated line here. We've also, by joining the points for what we consider to be our best production, we've established what our achievable best production is, and we've noted the difference between the two as the brown area here, which represents the efficiency of our production process. So the goal is for that area to be as small as possible and ideally reduced to zero so we can achieve 100% production reliability and efficiency all of the time. That is the goal. If we look underneath at our production data, we can see data that represents what is sitting under those lines. And that data will have come from a combination of the lines that we've drawn and the actual production and loss data that's come in via the query that is created by the wizard that we used. So here you can see we've got beta and eta values and under production loss regions, if I maximize that, you can see the costs. So for sub-reliability, 327,000 barrels lost at a cost of 3.9 million. For one sub-reliability loss, for another, we've got another 1.4 million. And for efficiency and utilization losses, we've got 25 million. So this is going to help me as a manager identify where are my biggest losses and clearly their efficiency and utilization. So I can start focusing on that in my goal to achieve 100% production efficiency by reducing this area of loss to zero. Thank you for watching. This concludes the production analysis video. If you have any questions or would like a live slow time video to take you through how to do this in detail, please contact your G Digital representative. Thank you.